Well, apparently aliens and UFOs may not be such a far out idea after all. One Nevada company is completely built on these conspiracies and theories and is focusing in on an alleged alien technology. Our affiliate KLAS gave us a behind the scenes look. Tucked somewhere in the vast Nellis Air Force complex, a private defense contractor is working on weapons tech that may or may not ever see the light of day. That same contractor has an office inside Wright-Patterson Air Base, home to the military's original UFO investigations. With 20 offices in 17 states, Radiance Technologies has quietly become a major player in developing cutting-edge weapons and systems for the Pentagon. But unlike some of its larger competitors, Radiance doesn't shy away from a topic long considered fringe or forbidden, UFOs. If somebody had a UFO and wanted to take it apart to figure out how it worked, You'd accept that contract. Oh, sure. Yeah, absolutely. Why not, right? Uh, I'm, I, I'm, I'm waiting for one of those. Yeah. <laughs> Tim Tinsley is an engineer who spent two decades working on missile defense systems before he joined Radiance. Unlike behemoths such as Lockheed or Northrop, Radiance is entirely owned by its employees. Tinsley rose to become president of the company, which has its home base in Huntsville, Alabama, also known as Rocket City. Whether in, in Las Vegas and San Antonio, Dayton, Ohio, or, or Huntsville, it doesn't matter. You know, the idea there is we have a core set of values that runs through the, the company. So we have 105,000 square feet of facility here. Uh, so it's a, uh, you know, made up of laboratories, classified and unclassified. But what exactly does Radiance do? There are hints on its website of exotic defense technologies such as Star Wars-like direct energy weapons, hypersonic missiles, systems to defend against cyber warfare, and who knows what else. What are they doing at Nellis Air Force Base? I can't tell you a lot, right? Um, but what I can tell you is that we've supported um, the Las Vegas community, Nellis uh, Air Force Base, for over 20 years. And, you know, a lot of the work we do is mostly for the Air Force, of course, um, but it resides in uh, uh, that RD, t and &E, the Research Development Test and Evaluation Spectrum. As Tinsley knows, Nellis is one of the places rumored to house mysterious materials of unknown origin. The story first reported by us more than three decades ago is that a super secret program housed in or near Nevada's Area 51 military base has been trying to reverse engineer alien technology. That story spread all over the world, but has been dismissed as mere folklore by military agencies and defense contractors. Now, however, Congress is nosing around. Key committees have received closed-door briefings alleging the rumors are true, and legislation is pending to encourage whistleblowers to step forward and tell what they know about crashed saucers. Radiance isn't able to confirm the allegations, but the company has positioned itself just in case. Months ago, it announced the hiring of a reverse engineering specialist, longtime Navy intelligence official Jay Stratton, formerly the head of the Pentagon's UAP or UFO task force. Stratton urged Radiance to hire Dr. Travis Taylor, who worked with Stratton as the chief scientist for the UAP task force. When Radiance announced the hiring of the two veterans of UFO research, its news releases pointedly mentioned their UFO credentials. Not worried about that uh, it creates a perception of you as a company that is reverse engineering UFOs or something? Uh, no, no. We provide customer solutions. So whatever our customers uh, want us to, uh, to work on and support them, that's what we'll do. Astrophysicist Travis Taylor won't say what he and Stratton are working on, but made it clear what they hope to tackle. Jay and I are, are working on growing the, the uh, capabilities of uh, doing reverse engineering of, of uh, foreign uh, materials and so on. And so it makes it the perfect place if we were to uh, get something to reverse engineer, we would absolutely want to do that. George Knapp, News Nation, Las Vegas. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.